What's up everybody, welcome to another video here on Alvaro's Outdoor Adventures. In today's video I'm going to show you how to do some baits for catfish. Uh, so, uh, sometimes you will be getting some carp with this bait as well. Uh, but this is another method of how to get on some catfish when you don't have either live bait or cut bait. Uh, this is something that I always keep as a backup. This is an alternative method for bait if you're not able to put, get your hands on either shad or any type of live bait or, or cut bait. Uh, it works. It's not as effective. In my opinion, it's not as effective as live bait or cut bait, but it still does the job. So stick around. Hope you like this video. And if you do, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Also hit the bell button so you can get notified anytime I upload a video. Stick around for the video. Alright, some of the bait I'm talking about is chicken. It would be either tenderloins or breast. Any type of chicken will work. But we're also going to dip it on uh, jello. Uh, I think these are 50 cents or so at Walmart. This was $3.45. I know you can get bulk. If you go buy a big bulk and take two or three pieces off, uh, for bait and you have chicken for you and then you have bait. These are a dollar at Walmart, these sausages or franks, I don't know how you guys call them. Again, this dip them into uh, jello so it could create an extra scent. One of the things I have been using a lot, it's uh, shrimp. You can get this pack for $4 at, um, at Walmart. Um, make sure to get packaged shrimp or any type of shrimp. Um, make sure you check your local laws because uh, there are some states like here in Texas you cannot use any exported uh, fish to, I mean, shrimp to um, use as bait. And the last thing is uh, chicken liver. Sometimes these are about to go bad. And you'll get them very cheap. I got this for $1.52. Uh, there's some that I get for 99 cents. Um, I'm not going to consume it, but I'll use it as um, a bait. Yeah. And I'll show you how to prepare these two. This also works. This uh, stink bait. I really don't use it a lot unless I'm like in a small pond, like a stock pond. I'll definitely use these. Um, you'll get bites, but it's going to be very slow. At least in my cases where I've used it, I really haven't got any bites. Again, with this, you would also be uh, targeting uh, carp, or carp would go after these as well. Um, like I say, these you would also get bites on. But I'd rather not buy these. I got these for the purpose of the video. Um, I like to use these live. I'm like it's the same thing. These are uh, treated and uh, packaged. But uh, don't get me wrong. You will get fish. You'll get catfish. You'll get striper. You'll get anything that eats these. Uh, but if it's live bait, it's way much better in my opinion. So I stay away from these here, uh, any type of dough that's sold on Walmart. Um, it will do the job, but it won't do the job as this here. And plus, I think a bag of this is running like four or five bucks. And I'd rather get some shrimp or go to the supermarket and buy a pound or half a pound of fresh shrimp and, and use that. The fresher, the better. Um, and I've seen that throughout my years of fishing. Uh, the freshest the bait is, the more fresh the bait is, uh, the more bites I'm going to get. Um, again, I'll get bites on these, not as, ma not as much as with live baits, but if I'm not getting any bites on live bait or cut bait, I'm definitely switching to this. I always carry one of these on the boat or my truck uh, when I go fishing. I'll put it in my truck. 
Um, if I cast my net and don't get any bait near the shore, then I'll definitely jump into shrimp. Um, also, non-game fish, you can use those. So if you, uh, let's say you throw one of these and um, you get a carp. Use that carp as bait. It's fresh. Uh, don't clean anything off. Just get a, a piece of it and throw, put it on your line and throw it back out. It's going to definitely uh, make a difference. All right, magic trick. Yeah, I have deck cards. I'm gonna look for the aces. So I have the four aces. One, two, three, four. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hide them in the pack. Mix them up and then I'm gonna try to find them. Here's one. Here's two, here's three, here's four. Here All right, go. so how to prepare these? I get two containers. And I'm gonna put these inside and then um, just throw the jelly on top of it and start uh, playing around. Uh, sometimes like these, these are, ten these are tender ones. They're a bit too big. I'll cut them down a bit. It all depends on the type of hook you're going to use. I'll be using circle hooks, uh, seven, eight, or nine odd hooks. So this would be the ideal chunk because we can put it into the hook and still have a lot um, hanging. So I would cut a piece if you haven't tried this. I cut a piece. Get a hook ready and see how much you can put on that hook. Using J hooks, uh, make sure that you don't cover the whole hook with uh, this. This allowed me, I could put the circle hook through this top right here and still gonna have uh, the hook exposed. Uh, you wanna make sure your hook is exposed at all the time, otherwise, you'll be missing bites with any type of bait. So the same for the hot dogs, I'm going to cut a couple. And then the same with these, make sure you measure your the hook or have an idea of what your hook is going to um, measure with uh, with the bait. You don't want to cover the whole hook with the sausage. Depending on your rig setup, I usually put it in through the top part, not through the hook. I'll get the before. Uh, Putting in a snap-on swivel, I'll get the hook, put it in through here, and then snap that to the swivel, bring this all the way down to where it meets the hook, and then uh, it won't go anywhere. I mean, your bait won't go anywhere. Okay, so now that I have my two pieces here of uh, bait, it really doesn't matter what type, you know. I got cherry and strawberry, I want it great, but um, these it's these are what I'm going to use. I'm 
And let's see, this was $3.45, a dollar, and another dollar here. You're looking around six dollars here in bait, and it's going to be a lot of bait. Um, you will not run out with this uh, this bait throughout the day. Now, like I said, if you buy a bulk, if you buy a chicken bulk, this one I just got it for the purpose of the video. Um, you'll save a lot more. Okay. So I pour in, say half of it. And then coat it all. Man, this smells delicious. Well, which one was it? The cherry. So you're going to mix it all up. Make sure you get all the powder at the bottom. I mean, it's gonna. Uh, you're gonna take away all the moist from the chicken. All right, the next one is do the sausages. This is strawberry, and then dip them on that. Again, I'm gonna just pour the half of the bag. And then mix it. You'll see the start gonna change, uh, start changing color. It's gonna be to a red. So there, from here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them onto these Ziploc bags and put them on the freezer or, or the fridge. Um, let them stay a couple of hours overnight. Um, preferably a couple of hours. Um, but uh, if you can leave them for a couple of days, leave them one day in the fridge and then put it in the freezer until you're ready to use them. And, um, and then you're set with this bait. So I'm gonna store these for now. Um, I'm gonna take them on my boat, next trip I take, and uh, I'll put it to, I'll show you on video when I catch uh, uh, catfish or, or when, I, when I get my catches with these types of baits. Um, of course shrimp, you've already seen that in my video. Um, I'm gonna do some, I'm gonna rig some with uh, chicken liver and um, the rest with uh, hot dogs and uh, chicken. Well there you go everybody, hopefully you like this video. Let me know in the comments if you are going to give it a try and if you've already uh, tried these types of baits, also let me know in the comments. Uh, let me know what's your success rate with them, with uh, this type of bait or uh, live bait or cut bait. Uh, my opinion, I prefer live bait. Um, there's this popular saying, match the hatch. So whatever they, whatever catfish is sitting on such body of water, that's what I'm trying to get my hands on so I could throw the same thing on a hook. Hopefully you liked this video. If you did, please give me that thumbs up. Again, if you're new to my channel, please uh, consider subscribing. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And uh, as always, I'll see you in the outdoors.